always stay strong and never give up on yourself. Even if the doctors tell you otherwise, just, just push, keep going. Homecoming is just one of many events that high schoolers look forward to, but for one Forest Hill High School student, doctors don't even know if she'll make it through the rest of her junior year. News Channel 5's Amy Lipman met with the 16-year-old before she went to her first ever homecoming dance tonight. A beautiful red dress. And, and then it gets longer towards the bottom back there. Camera ready makeup, curled hair, and 16 year old Nayla Rivera is ready for homecoming. I decided, you know what, I want to go just in case. But she has to take an oxygen tank with her. This is like if I want to go to the store or something, so I don't have to take that big one. That's because just yesterday she got out of a week long hospital stay, one of many in her life. Nayla was diagnosed with cystic fibrosis when she was a baby. She also has diabetes. I've had to take tons of medications, do my nebulizer, do like chest PT and stuff like that. Always go to the hospital. But this is the worst she says she's ever felt. Nayla would have still been in the hospital if she and her mom hadn't decided to put her on hospice. And we thought it would be better so I won't be always in the hospital. I could do my antibiotics here and all my treatments here and still go to school. Some associate hospice with imminent death. I don't see it like that. But doctors do. Nayla had qualified for a lung transplant earlier this year, but she can't get it now. She's too sick. Um, they feel like, like they can't do anything more for me. Nayla won't accept that, though. Always stay strong and never give up on yourself. Even if the doctors tell you otherwise, just, just push, keep going. And she gets that from her mom. I do not treat her as a sick child. I will never do that. I don't think anybody should do that because it gives them strength to continue. When Nayla told the hospital she wanted to go to Forest Hill High School's homecoming this weekend. They're like, okay, we'll make it happen for you. Basically as like a death wish. But to Nayla, it's just another night in the life she plans to continue to live. They only see numbers. They only see what, what they can do. And I understand why they say that but I'll show them different. Reporting in West Palm Beach, Amy Lippman, WPTV News Channel 5.